Is that the moon? I love time and date globes. The moon rise at the equator, March 21. Moon rise almost uh, 90 degrees uh, east. The moon rise is uh, 1911, uh, 11 minutes uh, past 7. Let's see how much it uh, moves in 5 minutes. The azimuth is uh, 89.84. Let's uh, move uh, 5 minutes uh, forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is uh, 0.3 uh, decrease azimuth difference in uh, 5 minutes. That's uh, not much. So let's do the same uh, for the 75th uh, latitude north. So here we are on the 75th uh, latitude north on the same date. And here the moon rises uh, 1910. That's almost uh, 90 degrees. How much uh, this one uh, moves in uh, five minutes? This one have an angle of uh, 89.71. This one uh, almost uh, moves uh, one degree in five minutes. So this uh, moon on the equator is a little bit higher uh, above the uh, horizon. Now let's do this uh, for the 75th uh, latitude south. March 21, 75th. Uh, Latitude South Moonrise 1915 uh, 15 minutes past 7 How much uh, this uh, moon uh, moves in uh, 5 minutes 89.05 uh, Azimuth This one uh, moves uh, 1.8 uh, degrees. Yes, 1.8 uh, degrees. So this moon is uh, a tiny bit uh, later. Not much. So according uh, to science, this is almost uh, 90 degrees uh, east. And according uh, to my compass, uh, this is uh, correct. Moonrise here, 90 degrees uh, east. But uh, here I also have uh, a 90 degrees uh, east uh, moonrise. And here in the south, it's also 90 degrees. It would be logic, the people in the north, look at a different angle. 
and not 90 degrees. This is impossible on the globe. Just like any other map. You cannot model it up, not triangulate it. I can put a whole row of uh, moons here for each uh, latitude one. It's always 90 degrees east. All the people over this uh, whole longitude line from north to south see 90 degrees east moon a real moon at 90 degrees east how do we locate the moon on the globe this is a uh, 75th uh, latitude south Oh yeah, this is how we do it. Uh, let's do this also for the 75th latitude north. And for the equator. Yeah, I will rotate uh, you. So here, you go watch the moon. And you too. And you also enjoy uh, the moon rise. This is uh, how we do it on the globe. We never ever combine locations. We do it locally. Just like uh, science uh, tells us, like I show in many videos, it's impossible to triangulate the moon. And this is uh, why they uh, come up with uh, this idea. First, uh, we create a flat level plane, even uh, when we are on the bottom of the globe. And then uh, measure the azimuth and the altitude from the moons. And as you can see, you cannot uh, draw up altitude here on the globe. You need uh, this to do that. Maybe some uh, stupid baller can show us how to draw up uh, azimuth and altitude on the globe I wonder how uh, they uh, fabricated the uh, distance to the moon and now here is the moon overhead on the uh, equator at uh, 031 and then it have a distance of uh, 360,664 uh, 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 kilometer and when I look at the 75th uh, latitude north Then there is only one uh, second uh, difference in the uh, culmination, the highest point. And then the difference uh, to the moon is uh, only two uh, kilometer compared to here. Well, the moon goes overhead. So people here at the uh, 75th latitude north, look in this direction. 
to the moon that is uh, going overhead here. And there is only a two kilometer uh, difference in distance. We all know uh, a diagonal uh, line is uh, longer. How do they uh, calculate uh, this? And if you look at the uh, 75th uh, latitude south, then it have the same uh, distance as the equator. How do they do that? There is no way you can triangulate using those apps. Those apps are uh, made for a uh, local. On a local base, you can never uh, combine uh, locations or uh, plot multiple uh, locations to a single moon, sun or star. No, it don't work like that. It's local. Maps uh, cannot solve this. There is not a single map uh, that can uh, make it work because it's impossible. And uh, there are a lot of uh, flat earthers having maps without even having a, a coordinate system. So if you use those maps, you cannot even uh, locate your local sun. Because the latitude and longitude uh, are off. You need a working coordinate system with your uh, fantasy maps. Let's see how this uh, 90 degrees east moonrise works on this uh, piss drinkers uh, map. So from here to here is about uh, 10,000 uh, miles and all those guys looking uh, 90 degrees east you can only explain this away with uh, bullshit or some magic Moonrise 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 One minute between uh, those two at the 75th latitude north in the equator And then uh, four minutes between uh, the equator and uh, the 75th uh, latitude south. Map land. Okay, we've had a problem here. This is just a second, please. Oh, here's the way we've had a problem. We've had a main beep on front of all. Don't buy into this uh, map circus. It's just uh, people's fantasy. They don't solve the riddle of the sky. You can model up uh, your uh, sun and moon and stars for your location locally if you have a, a coordinate system but none of these uh, have that the only so-called uh, flat earth map 
with the working coordinate system is the Cleesons. But the Cleesons is the fault open globe. This is all trash. Doing battles with uh, flat earthers. Clown flat earthers. So this one I uh, don't want to understand. The Cleesons map is the uh, default open globe. Flat Earth map utterly fails. Here is some uh, shale measuring uh, the distances with a tape measure. This Daffy Duck don't understand. He battled against his own fault open globe map. And those uh, flat earthers promote the fold open globe map. You understand? And then I uh, told him uh, you cannot uh, measure distances with uh, tape measure. You must use the coordinate system. And then uh, he tell me uh, I'm adorable. You confuse uh, coordinate system with accurate distance uh, measurement. So precious. And here is other uh, Rita Wolfie. So this uh, Daffy Duck don't understand the coordinate system. Let me see. Let me put in uh, the coordinate from uh, Canada Airport here. Canada Airport. Now I will fill in uh, Amsterdam Airport, the coordinates. Let's measure the distance. That's 5,504 uh, kilometer. Or 3,420 miles. Between uh, Schiphol Airport and some uh, airport in uh, Montreal. Distance from Amsterdam Schiphol to Montreal. 5,506 kilometer or 3,421 miles. That's uh, the same. I bet uh, it's exactly the same if I uh, pinpoint it exactly. Zoom in a little bit more. So Daffy Duck, are you stupid? Maybe you have to read some uh, documents about uh, GPS and how it uh, uses the coordinate system. You should read a little bit. Very interesting. It tells you about uh, maps and uh, what kind of uh, GPS uh, systems uh, we have. Coordinate systems. Very interesting. You were just a clown doing battles against your own map. Fault open globe, retard. He does to try to make up numbers and make this obvious fake map. Oh, humiliated in all my life!
Ethan's map is not an accurate flat Earth map of the flat Earth. Uh, no, idiot! It's your fault over globe map! I'm Jay Herman. I'm the EPIC lead scientist for the Discover mission. On July 6, 2015, we released this spectacular image of Earth taken by NASA's EPIC camera. Now, we assembled more than 3,000 images captured by EPIC into a time-lapse sequence that shows a year in the life of our planet. The problem is really quite simple. Let's say that point A is on Earth. The Earth is rotating. It's also wobbling on its axis, which means that point A is actually moving like this as it travels through space in its orbit around the sun. To a time-lapse sequence that shows a year in the life of our planet. It's also wobbling on its axis. Yeah, no wobble. In a year's uh, rotation. Is this wobble uh, synchronized with the satellite? Which means that point A is actually moving like this as it travels through space in its orbit around the sun. The problem is really quite simple. The spacecraft always remains between the sun and the earth approximately one million miles away. Where is the moon? If this is a million miles away, we should see the moon uh, circle around the Earth. At a special gravitational balance point known as Lagrange 1. In March, the moon passed between the Earth and the Sun. I don't see it. The moon has an uh, inclination of uh, 5 degrees above the equator. What is this uh, for trash? Causing a total solar eclipse. Besides this, the moon is moving around the Earth. Yeah, we should see uh, something like this. Just like uh, NASA tells us. Oh, hold on, this is also NASA. During the eclipse, the moon cast its shadow over a portion of the planet. If we slow the video down, we can see the moon's shadow make an appearance. Where is the moon? Right about now. <laughs> During the eclipse, the moon cast its shadow over a portion of the planet. If we slow the video down, we can see the moon's shadow make an appearance right about now yeah we should see uh, something like this although the view from epic is only once every two hours we're able to track features like the motion of clouds epic takes at least one set of images about every two hours so these are uh, 10 frames with the shadow is about every two hours although the view from epic is only once every two hours epic takes at least one set of images about every two hours so every two hours i have uh, 10 frames here so that means uh, this uh, solar eclipse uh, lasted uh, 20 hours these are uh, 10 frames. Here is one shot, two hour, four hour, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 14, 16, 18, 20. Epic takes at least one set of images about every two hours. Although the view from Epic is only once every two hours, Epic takes at least one set of images about every two hours. You're full of shit! Why they don't show the moon? 
then we can uh, see it rotate on its axis we cannot see this uh, from earth because uh, of the so called synchronous uh, rotation tidal uh, locking and that's why we never see a uh, a different side of the moon but we should uh, see it from uh, space one rotation each month we should see it go around the earth rotating in this uh, time lapse in the same month as that solar eclipse we had also a, a lunar eclipse, March 23. We should see the moon travel behind the earth, but we don't see that. This footage is just fraud. From a million miles away. Is this also a million miles away? Uh, Antonio? Ah, no. <clears throat> I'm not going to play it all, okay, but this guy is pretty cool, okay. Maverick Star Reloaded. Now, I, I, I donate to them. I, I, I donate to them. I, I, I donate to them. And I encourage any of you guys who are interested in real world observations, because these things are real world observations. The Globelings. So these are uh, real world observations, that's uh, interesting and uh, you want everybody uh, to donate. So, so you promote uh, this channel, Real Science, this is a globe link using satellite images. Like this. You only nag about uh, Clovers being so stupid. And now you're promoting this. <laughs> you're an imbecile. But it doesn't matter. They're still reporting real world information. Not real world information. Globe links. Just mm, silly uh, cosmology based on uh, ideologies. Now, you see this shape here at the top, okay? Temperature. This is basically a, over the globe Earth or over the flat Earth. This is what I'm going to transpose onto the flat Earth map. I, I, I donate to them. This shape is mirrored by this here. I, I, I donate to them, okay? Very interesting, and this is magnetism. No, it's just red colors and blue and yellow. You're just a retarded piss drinker, piece of shit. Are all those uh, idiots here uh, stupid? The retardness already uh, kicked in. This one. That is interesting. Never knew about this. No, because it's bullshit. Moron. And here. From uh, Mr. John Oddity. Here is my problem. Why do people that believe in the globe watch flat earth, flat earth channels? I wonder why you watch this. Nobody uh, call Antonio out. For supporting this globe head with donations and CGI. I know because it supports your uh, retard uh, map and the shit you uh, write in the book. But I listen to this uh, idiotic voice. It's one of your friends from the UK, from the inbred clan. And then you'll be talking pee like we are. And and, and so maybe be peeing is good for you.
freaking try it. Even yeah. if you only do it once in your whole life, a drop of pee or urine or elixir of life and heal yourself. <sighs> What's that? Well, the thing is, people, if you think of the dosage, it's not much. What you can do as well is, in the shower, before you shampoo your hair, so you don't get drips of shampoo in it, pee into your hand, you know, and, and, and say to yourself, oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Uh, and then you do it, and then you've done it, and you feel brave. <sighs> A drop of pee, it's only you that will find the proofs. It's true. Nobody can give you proof. <sighs> now don't dance. You're in a shower. <laughs> Hello, and they smell of pee, and they smell of pee. <sighs> What's that? Well, the thing is, people, if you think of the dosage, it's not much. Shit, piece of 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 shit,
STS 41D. Even look at this. There's a hole in the window, a round hole. Piece of shit. And he sticks his camera through it. Look, he sticks his camera outside. This is all mockery, people. Yeah, why uh, they should uh, put those videos out. Yeah, they like to fuck us. And yeah, you can even see his breath on the window. Hi people. I know you don't give a shit about my hair. My science was just made up bullshit. Ha 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 ha. For many years I played a fake retarded scientist and you all bought into it. LOL. Celebrate. Good time. Come on. Yahoo. Celebrate. Good time. Come on, let's celebrate. My funeral party. This party lasts forever. Ha 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 ha. 
celebrate celebration let's all celebrate and have a good celebrate good time come on yahoo where is the fucking music pieces of shit <laughs>